Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. I'm Georgia and today I wanted to show you how I style my eyebrows. I have got a few different tools here that I use. These are the Lily Beth facial shavers, razors, I believe. I just use them for the tops of my eyebrows here. I've obviously got an eyebrow brush. I just use this to brush through my eyebrows and to use it when I then trim them. Along with a pair of just nail scissors. You can probably get smaller scissors meant for eyebrows, but I just use nail scissors because they're small enough to get in there and really cut everything. And then obviously just a pair of tweezers just to pluck any stray hairs underneath. And then finally I go in with the Tattoo Brow by Maybelline. I just put this on and leave it on for a few minutes, usually five to 10 minutes or sometimes overnight, depending how dark I want my eyebrows to be. But it's just a tint which you can peel off and then it gradually fades over the next few days. First of all, I am just going to assess my brows because I haven't done them in quite a while. So there's probably a little bit of things need tweaking. They're not in too bad of a shape or anything. I think it's just kind of like a trim for everything today. I have been trying to get my eyebrows into more of an arch sort of shape, but I don't know how to do it. And also I don't want to lose any of the actual width of my eyebrow. And then they never end up looking the same either, which they're not anyway to begin with, especially once I've actually put makeup on my eyebrows. Then it ends up looking so much better than the other one, but I'm just trying to learn how to actually do that to like get my eyebrows looking really good. But otherwise this is just a basic tutorial how I do things. I'm just gonna go in with the tweezers first and just pluck any stray hairs. A lot of the time I get them along the bottom or like at the edge of the tail of my eyebrow here. It's actually really hard to grab them sometimes. And you feel like you're there trying to get one hair forever. And at the moment I'm not really taking anything off of my eyebrow. I am just doing it to the underneath hairs, but always double check like into a bigger mirror or something or straight on to see what the damages that you're doing to your eyebrow because sometimes it is easy to get very like trigger happy when it comes to plucking your eyebrows and you end up taking too much off and then you end up having to try and correct it with the other eyebrow and that's where it just starts going all sorts of wrong so always take a step back and see what you've done with your eyebrows and then kind of carry on and adjust it and then once i plucked the stray hairs underneath i'm just going to go in and brush up my brow just to see the shape underneath, whether I need to pluck any hairs off of that to give more of a shape. Also depends on how you like to style your eyebrows because I do like to wear mine brushed up. Obviously not fully, but I like to wear them brushed up. So I want that sort of shape and definition in there when I do brush them up. Whereas if you wear your eyebrows brushed straight or like flatter and down, then you'd probably style them a different way now to see the edge to pluck it and everything. And then you just go in to pluck into that shape. Once again, only taking a few hairs at a time so you can really see what you're doing. Otherwise, it's easy to kind of make a bit of a gap. And then I just go through and brush it through a few more times and make sure that it looks good either way that my eyebrow is brushed. Okay, now that you're happy with the shape of your brow, I have just brushed it up but slightly more to the side so it's more of like how it would naturally sit. And I'm just going to go in with my eyebrow knife here and just take it along the top doing slow little sections in the direction that the the hair will grow so if it's growing like down you have to kind of do it that way too otherwise it just causes like a bigger amount of drag and just irritates your skin I'm just doing it at a slight angle and slowly doing it and basically just taking it above my eyebrow where the hair sort of grows up here and just taking it slowly down and then onto the ridge of where your eyebrow is like your hair will stop it as long as you aren't too like heavy handed or like sharp with it at all your hair will stop it there so that helps to create the shape of your eyebrow too obviously please be careful with this because you might end up cutting some of your eyebrow off I don't know how much it will take off but you can definitely take off more than you intend to with this and it's just cleaned everything up Especially compared to this side, you can see the hair. It has cleaned it up here as well. I also take the eyebrow off and very carefully take it into the middle of my eyebrows here, making sure that I don't touch the other side here, so I don't leave it completely flat. I put it, lift this end up away from this eyebrow, just so it doesn't catch anything here. This just gets rid of any of the fine hairs in between your eyebrows that you might get there. 
You can also use it to, if you want to adjust the like width difference here, you can use it to take off some of this, but I tend to leave that. I don't really go too wide with that. It's just to take off the little like hairs in between. Next, I'm gonna trim my eyebrow. I'm not gonna take too much off because I do like having longer brows, but they are a bit of a different length. So I'm gonna try and neaten that up. I'm just brushing everything up because this is the way I would kind of style my eyebrows. Obviously, once again, if you style them a different way, brush them that way and then trim off any of the excess. But a lot of time you need to brush them all up to see the ends of the hair, so you can really cut that. If you're unsure of it, just take a little bit off at a time and then brush it back down and see what it looks like. And I'm just taking my nail scissors and then just cutting a little bit off. It is easy to do it in a bigger mirror, just so you can easily hold up the eyebrow hair with your brush and then cut with the scissors at the same time. Obviously making sure you don't cut it too short again. By doing this it will push it up so it will make it look like it's longer so you can cut more off by accident. So always be wary of that. But otherwise I'm just brushing up a few times just to get any of the hairs and then just trimming those. I'm also going to be brushing the eyebrow hairs down because as you can see it then sits over the edge of the original sort of like eyebrow line I'd made. So I'm going to trim that a little bit. Just more than if your eyebrows go out of place or they do like brush down then obviously it will create a different shape to your eyebrow. Okay, so I've just done the same to the other eyebrow and now I'm gonna go in with my tattoo brow. It's just a brush applicator in there with the product on and then you just take it and brush it onto your brows. It does then go into my like a film and then you can peel it off later. But I'm just gonna go in and just paint over where my actual eyebrow is. And this will just tint my eyebrows for a few days. It does then fade usually to a slightly warmer color. So it'll be slightly gingery in a few days time, but it does leave a nice tint to the eyebrows. It just saves me a bit of time on doing my makeup really. So just make sure it's a nice thick layer. Obviously it should be thin enough so it can dry as it gets a bit messy later on, but I'm just going and cleaning up around the edge slightly because it does go a bit further around the edge than you intend to sometimes. And then I'm just going to leave that on for about 20 minutes just until it dries. You can leave it up to two hours if you want up to like three day wear it to say on the pack. I tend to just leave it on. A lot of time I forget about it to be honest with you and then I just peel it off later. I do like this eyebrow tint because it's just really quick and easy and kind of convenient to use. Especially if it's like you've got something to do the next day and you suddenly just remember you want to tint your eyebrows. It is quite easy just to put on. It's not that messy or anything. I do want to try the actual like, eyebrow tint sets, but I just feel like it takes a bit more time for those. It probably is quite quick to do that too, but I always kind of just rely on these ones instead just because it's just much more convenient for me. You can just kind of put it on and forget about it. It doesn't really smudge or like anything anywhere, so it's quite good for that. This has been on for about 20 minutes now. I'm just gonna use my brush to kind of grab it. It does peel off quite easily. Sometimes you are left with little bits in your eyebrow still but you can just kind of get rid of it by just going over like this. And then on the other side. See how easy it is? Doesn't leave too much of a mess or anything either. This is what it looks like originally when you first take it off. So it's a lot darker and very like shaped to where you exactly put it. But once you wash your face, this does come off the first kind of like layer. And then the rest of it will just be what's left of the tint. So it's not such an obvious line. So if you've drawn it in and it was quite blocky here on your eyebrows, it won't stay that way once you've washed your face or wiped it off with like micellar water or something. It will then just be a lot more like of a natural look. But as I quite like having quite bold brows anyway. But these are my eyebrows done and finished now. As I say, I don't really have a particular style and I do want my eyebrows to be slightly different. But this is how I do them. This is how they look now and everything. I don't quite know how to get to the effect that I want, almost like the Instagram brows or sort of the very sort of 
bushy brows but like nicely faded and everything i don't know whether i'd need to have like microblading or something done for that let me know if you have any other brow tips or brow products that i should use below i do usually use um brow flick and brow gel to style my brows but let me know if there's anything else i know benefit is quite a good brand to use for eyebrows i just haven't really bought any of their stuff in a while from them but let me know what else I should try and do to my eyebrows because I am wanting to like do more to them but this is just the basic shape I tend to keep them at the moment. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you again tomorrow. Bye!